let's get started in this area, of course. <laughs> the famous entrances of Banana Port number one. Hello, everyone. Shrieks here. And welcome back to Donkey Kong 64. After making the mistake last time to pick the lesser of the two plugins, I've actually switched back to the <laughs> one that actually looks a bit better. Especially around the eyes. <laughs> but last time we did actually get started with Tiny Kong after finishing off Lanky Kong. And now it is time to clear off the rest for this girl as well. There's four more golden bananas to find for her. Three of them directly and one of them in the form of a kasplat. But there's also a couple of coins here, I think. I spotted them with Lanky. Gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, they're over here. I did remember them being near a tombstone. <laughs> And that splat is actually the first thing we're going for. The stage actually has a ledge over here that continues. Even past the ladder that you would normally take to go upward again. Because guess what they were hiding back here. It gives me uh, Super Mario 64 vibes actually. Small little ledges like these. <laughs> you need to be careful with this guy. He's not on a very wide platform. So if he manages to hit you, there's a very big chance... He's going to knock you off and therefore killing you. You could also always throw an orange at him if you don't feel safe. But here is Tiny's Kusplat. Now let's go see if we can climb back towards the Warpad 1 area from here. I'm not entirely too sure where all of these letters end up. Here's Warpad number 1. <laughs> let's do the lower one first. Let's we'll start butting to top again. In here we have the skull area and the tomb area, of course. The skull area is for Chunky, but Tiny also had an entrance in this um, yeah, tomb. I'm not really sure what else to call it. <laughs> the switch on the left was for Lanky, but there's also one on the right. That will open up this door yet again. Long jump. Oh, um, I'm pretty sure that was not a long jump. <laughs> it was a long way up, but not uh, quite in the direction I wanted it to. Tiny does not have a sprint move, and therefore don't expect a running challenge for her. <laughs> she actually needs to do something differently. She, of course, needs to use the ponytail twirl. Because otherwise Lanky would also be able to get to this area. <laughs> Nicely designed, Rare. Strangely enough, sometimes there is good design in your games. <laughs> Challenge time! Some scary looking hands will start rising from the poison. One of them has the golden banana. But of course, they are not going to stay raised. We need to make sure not to fall in the poison by jumping on these hands. And preferably not when they are in the poison. <laughs> you can easily cheese this mission by trying to go around the fingers. Normally they're supposed to block you, forcing you to go to the right, like this. But you can, if you time it correctly, jump around the fingers. Oh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Here's me trying to explain how you're supposed to do it, and I immediately get punished for it. Somehow, I did not remember them returning to the poison that quickly. Not a problem, just need to remember to do it quicker. <laughs> not like I'm not able to do it. I just thought I had a little bit more time. <laughs> Wanted to take it easy instead of taking risks. But apparently I do need to take some risks. <laughs> Wait for it to come up again. Also not going to take too long. I'm going to the right one. Yeah, perfectly timed. <laughs> now having a lot more time. And get the golden banana. Here is number two. And it would have been nice if the hand actually uh, returned to the poison in the middle of the cutscene. <laughs> Usually you end up killing yourself anyway after this, of course. <laughs> Faster way to get back to the entrance. It would have been good design of Rare if they actually did it beforehand already. <laughs> Next we need to go... Not listen to a kasplat. <laughs> Next we need to go to the higher of the two doors. There's also a ponytail twirl section over there for Tiny. And therefore, the other Kongs were not able to go there yet. It's going to lead to a bonus barrel. 
And that might actually be the second beaver bother if I'm unlucky. <laughs> Like I said beforehand, I'm not entirely too sure if one of the chunky bonus barrels or one of the tiny bonus barrels is going to be the beaver bother. But we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Oh, nice jump, tiny. Just good enough. <laughs> and this one is Teetering Turtle Trouble, or TTT for short. <laughs> One of my favorites to actually play around in. This one is of course also going to be in its most difficult variant now. You can already clearly see all these turtles will very quickly go in health mode. <laughs> it was a lot quicker than the previous you did. Your best bet in order to make sure this one ends well is just keep on shooting the snakes. No time for playing around in this one. Even before turtles get the chance to say help. <laughs> But then you should have shot your melon already. Let's go one row, reload, second row, reload, first row again. Just rinse and repeat. This way there's no way it can go wrong. Easy enough, right? <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Here's me saying it's easy and I almost screw up. <laughs> but in all honesty, it kind of also confirms it is indeed easy. Because I did have the luxury of being able to make a mistake and still not fail the minigame. <laughs> Usually whenever you make a mistake, you always fail the minigame. But in this one I was able to make a mistake and still come back from it. Extra confirmation, this was indeed easy. Normally the next one on the agenda would be the one in the trash bin near... Warpath number four. But because of the previous episode, I was able to fit in only one banana for Tiny, if that was a short one. I decided to do that one first. And it's time for us to get the other one near a banana port four. Because the trash bin is not the only one. <laughs> Remember that Tiny port, the monkey port that we saw in the ballroom, where Diddy actually was, a couple of episodes ago. The final banana is indeed going to be related to that. Tiny also needs to make her way into the ballroom. And how do you get in the ballroom, you may ask? It's a Diddy switch, right? To open that one up. Yeah, it's a pretty sneaky puzzle. It is in all honesty that easy that you wouldn't expect it to be that easy. <laughs> Allow me to show you. Allow me to show you what needs to be done. Something that obvious that I actually didn't think of it when I was a child. <laughs> I was stuck here for quite a bit. Use the tag barrel to switch to Diddy. Yeah, indeed, we need to switch to Diddy. Because the ballroom can only be opened by a Diddy switch. And therefore Diddy needs to press it. This time around, Diddy is not going in here. Tiny is going in here. There's a tag barrel here, right? So... <laughs> we can simply hit the switch with Diddy. Jump back in the tag barrel. Now even the tag barrel is broken. I have no more hope for the emulation of this uh, game. <laughs> Luckily it's almost over. <laughs> Man, if I knew this beforehand, I still should have um, thought of another way to play this game. But it's too late for that now, I think. <laughs> but this is how you get in here with Tiny. It is that simple. So obvious that I was not able to think of it as a child. <laughs> awesome, right? Well, we did see what we need to do in here already. There was a monkey port right here. If the camera allows me to see it. Thank you. <laughs> also a banana bunch on top of it. Something you can't really miss. And then we can warp towards a very mysterious area. Hmm. Before we start doing something in here. Banana fairy time. And it's behind the building. Not fair. I need to walk around. <laughs> Banana metal. Awesome. Also one of the final ones in the game. <laughs> of course. That checks off the banana fairies for Creepy Castle. Got both of them. The first one really early, of course, with Donkey Kong in the tree. And now this one. Let's keep on warping. There's no way to walk between these areas because there's actually glass in the way. Tiny does not need to walk. But she does need the banana balloon over here. We're at 75, but therefore not 100 yet. <laughs> I also want to rest. 90. 
that's going to be all that's in here. And remember to take the porch because, yeah, as you can see, you cannot walk here. We will see the corridor in a moment because Chunky is going to pass through there. And if you come here with him first, you might think, hey, what the hell is this? <laughs> but it is indeed through the monkey port in the ballroom. Now, let's go get the golden banana, shall we? Mini game time, and we have... A race in Frantic Factory. <laughs> That's random. <laughs> hey, Tiny, it's me again. I've managed to get hold of another shiny banana. If you can beat me in another two-lap race and get ten coins, it is all yours. Press the Z button to speed up and use the control stick to steer. Ready? Here we go. Second race of the game against the race car. It works similar, only this time we do have checkpoints we need to go through because we're not on rail, unlike last time. <laughs> and we are allowed to miss five of them before we fail the mission. Usually I feel this one is not per se that difficult, but I do feel it's more difficult than the first mission was. Make sure to go through most of the checkpoints. Especially in the first lap. The second lap you can use to uh, actually cut corners. And that way it gets past him. No. You make sure you keep your coins though. <laughs> also need to make sure you have 10 coins at the end. Whenever you go through the checkpoints, it's pretty obvious already. It's pretty difficult to catch up with him. But you do have 5 chances to miss the checkpoints. It's something I usually abuse in the second lap. Please tell me there's still one more coin I can grab. Because <laughs> I'm at 9. This guy's too close behind me. No. I can't really get that one. <laughs> no, yeah, there's one. It's the mission 3 of the checkpoints if I want. But I don't even have to. Oh, awesome. Hey. Really? <laughs> Bumper cars. <laughs> Sob. It's not fair. You can't have beat me and got enough coins. I suppose you'll be wanting my only possession now. <laughs> Are you really going to play sentimental now? <laughs> You're your only possession. It's bad enough that this banana takes place in Frantic Factory of all places. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, I guess that is it. However, where are my final ten bananas? Because now that we are done, I see that I've missed a couple. Yeah, let's go find them. I cannot find them on my list. Let's start walking. It's got to be these ones. I did not visit Funky with Tiny, of course. Uh, that's something I should have done after the tomb mission, of course. Here you are. And that was it. 100 bananas. And I killed the bat. <laughs> Your own damn fault, sir. Shouldn't be flying in the way. <laughs> now. Let's go find ourselves a tag barrel in the proper position. To get started on Chunky's little list. This time make sure I don't skip lines. <laughs> but anyway, who wants a shot? No, not you. <laughs> tiny. <laughs> I loved how he was like, tiny. And then she went tiny right after that. <laughs> You're an awesome guy, Chunky. Let's get started over here. We're in this corridor anyway. No reason not to start in here. The final tube challenge. This one, of course, taking place in the skull. There were three pathways we needed to take here. Diddy and Donkey both went to the left. For Chunky, only one pathway remains towards the right. Banana port number three we're going to end up. Man, that guy's big. <laughs> oh, here we are already. Oh, of course, I make the mistake on trying to pick my weapon on the banana port again. I'm not even going to try to pretend I'm surprised. <laughs> what do we have in here? Hmm, looks similar to Diddy Kong's mission. More coffins and stuff. <laughs> Breaking them open with the primate punch is going to give us a lot of goodies, of course. 
Banana bunches. Two of them already. <laughs> but not exclusively, if I remember correctly. One of them is going to be empty, I think, with enemies and stuff. Or just banana coins. Also pretty useless. <laughs> Although I do need to buy uh, the final music upgrade, of course. <laughs> so for Chunky, it's not going to be useless per se. <laughs> oh, this final one is the one we were after. And this one is going Welcome to be the bonus to barrel. Bonus and this is going to be Searchlight Seek. Going to be the final of the bonus barrels. That's going to be the next beaver bother. Still not looking forward to that. It's hitting 10... Clap traps with watermelons with limited light. That is a lot easier to do. <laughs> it is also involving clap traps at least. Yeah, this is a bonus we've seen before. Not just a bonus, but even getting 10 of them in one minute time. It's the same mission that we've done earlier. And I'm not doing too well. <laughs> These things just walk in circles. I'm still not able to hit them. <laughs> really bad at anticipating their movement. That is obvious. But in the end, still more than enough time. Easily achieved. Even with my screwing up. <laughs> Here's the first banana for Chunky. The next one we're going to do... Um, before moving upwards towards the corridor where the dungeon is. That's where his splat is. The dungeon itself we don't have to do. Of the banana bunches uh, Chunky needs to pick up, we've already picked up, of course. <laughs> but his splat is also running around in that corridor. And Candy is, of course, also uh, situated over there. <laughs> but let's go bottom to top. And if we go bottom to top, excluding this corridor where we started in, <laughs> we next need to go towards the tree. Donkey Kong picked up the first golden banana over there, where the sniper was also required. And back then, I did warn you, Chunky also has a banana over there. <laughs> That's going to be his uh, invisible, quote-unquote, invisible challenge. <laughs> around here somewhere. Oh, dead end. Still need to go up the ladder. Yeah, heading downward to the castle is not always a matter of staying down. <laughs> Sometimes you still need to go upward because of ledges being dead ends. Like this one. You just go in a counterclockwise fashion across the castle and you should go downward. And actually, getting towards the tree. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> that was awesome platforming skills. <laughs> being able to salvage that. Dying is not per se that bad in this game, but it would have respawned me back at the gate again. <laughs> yeah, this tree area is the only part of the stage that's kind of missing a warpad. And Chunky's too big to long jump in here. <laughs> also nice to find out. <laughs> but anyway, after a lot of effort, we are in here. We can open up the other corridor in here. Primate Punch! What else? <laughs> Ooh, you don't like being seen, do you? <laughs> that is going to be the next snipe mission. Quote unquote, snipe mission. <laughs> you get the sniper mode in the stage, and pretty much every single Kong needs to make use of it at some point. <laughs> Chunky too. Similar to what we've seen earlier, you have another switch that does not want to be seen. So the moment you come too close to it, it will turn around, and you're not able to hit it. However, we don't have to come close anymore. We've got a solution for that, don't we? <laughs> Pineapple switch in the far distance. Not a problem. Right. Bonus barrel time. And since this one is the final one in the stage, we know that it's going to come up. Let's prepare ourselves. Beaver bother, part two. <laughs> I did warn you about this one. Well, let's get lucky again, shall we? Good start at least. Well, this is not going so well. <laughs> not fair. 
physics of this minigame are not fair. <laughs> No, this is not going to be uh, a successful run. <laughs> Take me 10 seconds to get that one beaver in. <laughs> yeah, you don't stand a chance if that happens. Although, I am coming close still. <laughs> Three. Two. Yeah. I just need to get a bit luckier. Welcome to bonus stage. I need a drink. <laughs> get in there, you. <laughs> no! Oh. Why? Why are the physics for this game so weird? <laughs> well, at least I'm still on schedule now. Should be around 7 or 8 left at the halfway point. 30 seconds. Kinda at schedule. It's not going well. Come on! That's better. 16 seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, please, no. Come on. You, you, go in. Well <laughs> Why is this minigame so tedious? It is not funny anymore. <laughs> and where's my drink, by the way? <laughs> Final golden banana for today. After that mess, I'm kind of tired. And I'm also pretty sure even with the cutting, I'm out of time. So, this is going to be it for now. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I might actually be lenient and leave at least one of the failed attempts in this time around. So you guys can actually enjoy my failure. <laughs> However, I'm going to enjoy my rest and my drink. <laughs> Next time we're going to continue recording and actually go to part 40. Landmark. <laughs> but maybe that's going to be the one that finishes off Creepy Castle. Who knows? <laughs> Chunky will continue next time. Shrieks out. Thank you all for watching.